portion of the news brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. 20-year-old Shervin Munnings made his first appearance in the South Street's Magistrates Court today, accused of killing Rashad Sumner back on April 17th. The 20-year-old is accused of attempting to kill Leslie Tilmeen on the same date. In court, Munnings was not required to enter a plea. A voluntary bill of indictment is expected to be filed. Bail was denied and he was remanded to prison. He returns to court on April 14th when a date is expected to be fixed for his trial. Meantime, a 17-year-old male whose face is covered because he is underaged is also facing the same charges. Trade union leader John Pender, along with the Bahamas National Citizens Coalition, the Police Staff Association and other stakeholders are calling on the government to cancel its current agreement with the Billingham Dredging Corporation as it relates to the royalties on aragonite or sand coming out of the Ocean Key. The group believes the present contract places the country at a significant disadvantage and they are recommending that in renegotiating the agreement, the government received not less than $350 per metric ton rather than the $2 per ton previously agreed to. Group spokesperson and BPSU president John Pinder. The government wishes to introduce VAT as a new source of revenue to the tune of $200 million per annum. If we receive $350 a metric ton from Aragonite, we have statistics to show that aragonite is produced at 1 million metric ton per month. So you're speaking about $300 million per month that can come into the country's public treasury. That will speak to some $4.2 million. $4.2 billion per annum. Now ladies and gentlemen, Bahamians, hear me out. There is no need for our country to have to introduce new tax if we get what is due to us. It's one of the newest nonprofit organizations formed with the same mandate of building a stronger society but with a unique touch. The organization goes by the name DARES, which means Doctors Empowering and Rebuilding Society. Additionally, members of the organization are final year medical students of the University of the West Indies. President Davina Knowles says they want to come up with a movement that would allow them to give back to the Bahamas in a more meaningful way. We were thinking about things that we could help and assist in the community, not just being about self, but being about a bigger picture within the Bahamas. We have a lot of time dedicated towards the hospital, um, pursuing our medical degree, but we wanted to, you know, find something that could help a bigger and broader um, spectrum of life and not just helping ourselves with our career. And still to come, hear how you can help some children in need. And the Bahamas water polo team making an impressive showing at a regional meet. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight. This portion of the news was brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm C.S. Scatterly. The one and only Ocean Club Bahamas has landed the fourth spot in Caribs Journal's top 25 spas in the Caribbean. It follows Peter Island Resort and Spa in the British Virgin Islands, which took the top spot, followed by the Ritz-Carlton Grand Cayman and the Body Holiday in St. Lucia. Ocean Club has eight Balinese-style treatment villas, blending what it calls ancient techniques and contemporary practice. Four Seasons Nevis rounded out the top five. In other business news, representatives from the Bahamas Financial Services Board and the Insurance Commission of the Bahamas are back after recently attending the annual Risk and Insurance Management Society Conference in Denver, Colorado. It was all in an effort to promote captive advantages that exist in the country. The conference is the largest gathering of risk managers and practitioners. And in international news, German pharmaceuticals firm Bayer has agreed to pay $14.2 billion to U.S. rival Merck's consumer care business. Bayer said buying the division, which makes copper-toned sun care products, Dr. Show's foot health brand, and Claritin was a major milestone. Bayer said it would separately pay $1 billion in a co-development deal over heart failure drugs. It said the deal would help it develop sales outside the U.S. This has been your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm C.S. Scatterly.